Welcome back to Cooking with Souls. Today I'm going to show you how to make our special nachos. This is something we've made for probably 20 years, once a week. It's our special meal. We love it. And we're going to show you step by step how to make it. It's real simple, just like the guacamole I showed you. So, the three main ingredients are onions, poblano pepper, and celery. We'll put those in. We got a pan already hot here. We're just going to cook those until they're about halfway done. And then we're going to add some other things. Alright, we got that done. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our, our red kidney beans, the dark red kidney beans, and the rotel sauce in. I pour about half the liquid off of this uh, because I don't like it to get too uh, liquidy, if that's a word. And so we'll get these cooking, and then we'll come back and, uh, in just a few minutes, and we'll put in the, the beans rotel, and we'll spice it up with chili, cumin, and granulated garlic. Now this is what makes it good. Alright, so we'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, now we're going to uh, put our nachos, while that stuff's cooking there, we're going to put our chips together. Uh, we like to use a whole grain chip, tortilla chip, multi-grain is what it's called. These have been really good. And so, we used to make this with a lot of cheese. I mean, we covered the entire chips with cheese, but we've cut down lately, and all we do is put uh, the chips on the plate and cover it with jalapenos. But we used to use cheese and jalapenos. We were cutting back. I'm not, it's not going to look like it when we finish because these things are huge. But they're, they're so good. I like to arrange these. Uh, get kind of every space filled around the edges. I get really meticulous about this. And so there we go. That's about right. Just a few more. There's always room for a few more. And there we go. So that looks good. They're really uniform. Now we'll just put some sliced jalapenos. We like to use these pickled ones, drain them a little bit. And you're, you're probably not going to like as many as we do, but we, we use quite a bit. And all this is going to go in the oven and heat up. If you had cheese on, of course, you'd melt the cheese down. But uh, we just let it heat for about 10, 15 minutes at 190. The plates can stand that. And uh, now I get some good hot meat, pull them out, and we'll load them up with our good old nacho sauce. It's actually a meatless chili is what it is. Okay, so there we got it. Let's get these things in the oven. And uh, we'll let them sit until we're ready. And then we'll turn this thing up to 190. And uh, they will be ready when we are. All right, sit tight. All right, we've got these on a medium heat, and they're getting about halfway done. And I'm going to add the beans, the dark red kidney beans, one can of those. And the rotel. Now, the rotel, if, if you haven't used it, is chopped tomatoes and it has jalapenos in it, some spicing. Very good. Quick seasoning. You can also make some great uh, melted cheese dip with rotel. Maybe how you become acquainted with it. So we're going to mix that up a little bit. And then uh, put some garlic on it. And very accurately measure this, please, because it can ruin it if you're wrong. So two little shakes of garlic. 
and then we'll put some cumin in. I like to put about uh, about two, probably not two tablespoons, but about that much. Let's make it really easy for you to figure out. But it, really, everything is made to taste. You just make it to taste. I use a little more chili than my wife does, but uh, and she's the best seasoner for sure. So I'll use about three good shakes of that. And now, you see how simple this is. And this makes the best chili. It's just, it's amazing. You don't, you don't need any meat in it. Uh, you can eat this stuff in, uh, in uh, you know, soft tortillas, make wraps out of them. We use it, we, we make a little more than we need and we use it all week long for lunches. So it's great. And uh, we're gonna chop some lettuce too. We chop all that up. We've already got our tomatoes. We use a, a great tomato and uh, chop those up, chop them in half. And these are all toppings that go on top that make it look enormous. It's a mountain of food, but lettuce is, you can eat as much as you want of that. So we'll get to that in just a minute. We are going to assemble the wonderful nachos and we have uh, the meatless chili which is uh, red kidney beans, rotel sauce, poblano pepper, celery, and onions, chili, garlic powder, and cumin. You remember all that. So all we're gonna do is, is spread a couple large spoons on these. Remember we heated the, uh, we heated the tortillas up to about 190, I left them in there for about 20-30 minutes. It really doesn't affect them much. So I put a couple nice spoons of this. We're not going to use all of it because as I told you we use we use this during the week as leftovers too. We got that. So once we put the chili on, we're going to put the lettuce on. This is what makes it look gigantic. And it is. And we put lots of lettuce on. This is the healthy part of the meal. That's the way we think of it. And we put the lettuce on. And then we're going to put, I'm not going to put all the squacamole on because it's a lot. This is, this is, remember, it's just three avocados. So we're going to put a good bit on. That would be ample amount for sure. That looks good. And then the final thing, we top it off with the great tomatoes. And put that on there. These are all really good for you. This is a very, very healthy meal, uh, even though it's overeating, but it's a very healthy meal. And there we go. Now, we have the greatest nacho plate in the world. And if you will do this, you will have a happy life. I consider it the cure-all of everything. Eat these nachos and you will be a happy person.